Let's take a look at the numbers and place value questions. Um, all of these are non-calculator questions. So question number one, we need to write this number in words. Now these commas are really useful. If you've ever got a really long number, remember that our, if you're going from right to left after every three, you can stick in a comma. And these commas replace words. This first comma replaces the word a thousand and the second comma replace, replaces the word million. So now this number is simply 2,389,401, really easy. Question number two, 627,013, what is that um, as a number? So we know that the thousand that is replaced with a comma. So to the left hand side of that, I'm just gonna write 627. And on the right, I'm gonna write 13, but I can't just write one three, I'm gonna have to write zero one three. So there we are, 627013 with or without the comma. I find sticking the comma in is quite handy because that helps us remember the thousand, million, billion, trillion, etc. Question number three, what is the value of the seven in this number? Well, the six is in the units column, so that has a value of one. The two is in the tens column. This two is in the one hundreds column. So therefore, this seven is in the one thousand column. So the value of the seven is seven lots of one thousand, which is seven thousand. So here's a set of numbers. We have some positive and some negative numbers. So hopefully we know that the uh, smallest number has to be one of the negatives. Um, so which one of these is the most negative? And if you're struggling with this, let's just do a number line starting at zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. Now, hopefully you appreciate that as we go to the left on the number line, we, uh, the, we are, uh, the numbers are getting smaller and smaller. Since minus five is further to the left than negative three, then minus five is the smallest number. Um, I'm also gonna do the number line and I'm gonna extend it to the right, showing the positive numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going all the way up to seven there. So which is furthest from zero? Well, to go from the minus five to the zero, then that is a jump of five. And to go from zero to seven, that is a jump of seven. So we can see that seven is furthest from zero. So question number five, using a number line, what is the difference between negative seven and four? So let's do our number line. If you want to start at zero, going up should be fairly easy and going down minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. So what is the difference between minus seven and four? That's a difference of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's a difference of 11. In question number six, um, the coldest temperature, that's gonna be the city that has the uh, lowest uh, number of degrees Celsius. And there are no negatives here, so this is nice and easy. Uh, five is the only number which is a single digit number. So therefore, Toronto has the coldest temperature. The hottest temperature, uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 23. 23 is the biggest. So the hottest city is uh, Buenos Aires. So the difference between the hottest and the coldest is the difference between 23 and five and 23 minus five is 18. So that's a difference of 18 degrees.